सो वॉस ऑफ यूट्यू वेलकम टू माई चैनल कम्प्लीट एक रिव्यू एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वॉक अराउंड ऑफ द एवेंजो वन सिक्सटी एंड दिस बी एस सिक्स वेरियंट विच इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस वन इज द एवेंजो वन सिक्सटी स्ट्रीट इन दिस ब्लैक एंड सिल्वर एक्शन कलर सो विच इज रियली स्ट्राइकिंग एंड लुक्स वेरी नाइस दिस वन आई बिलीव सिक्स फीचर्स स्टैंड अपार्ट फॉर दिस बाइक एंड मेक्स इट वन ऑफ अ काइंड मेनली इज दैट दिस इज द बिगिनर्स बाइक फॉर रिलैक्स टूरिंग एंड फॉर क्रूजर कम्फर्ट दिस इज द बिगिनर्स बाइक and with that the first i think the important point that you need to keep in mind is that the seat is like a sofa and it has a very good uh, cruiser styling and also the seat is also very comfortable so the rider basically gets a very nice and a plush seat with more density foam and also the pillion gets a narrow seat so that's there the styling as i said is a cruiser styling the second point is that the front foot pegs is stretch forward so to give it like a more cruiser stance so good for highway touring the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that the vehicle gets the rlp uh, at the back which stands for reverse wheel lift protection and the front is uh, so the front suspension gets the abs which is single channel and it is i believe a 300 mm unit and uh, the tires is also tubeless these are mrs zappers and uh, the rear one is the 16 inch unit and it is a uh, the tubeless tires so the rims are the alloy rims and uh, it gets tubeless tires which is also good for touring purposes it has a single horn which is also blacked out and it is in the center the frame is a double cradle frame and which is also nice improves overall stability fuel injection comes with the fi variant and it has uh, you know a fuel injection logo also embedded in the, the instrumentation console side of the vehicle it has the side stand indicator comes with five speed gearing the gearing is very smooth and slick it has ddsi engine roughly delivers around uh, 14 ps of power and it is fuel injected and has a maximum speed of around uh, 100 plus so easily you can cruise between 80 to 90 kilometers per hour so which is the cruising uh, you know range and also with in that speed you are not stressed out so that is also a good thing the bike delivers roughly around 38 to 40 plus kilometers per liter so which is also good so this is the styling the tear drop tank is close to 13 liters 13 to 14 liters all the uh, information will be in the description note it also has the front suspension and the four gaiters so which gives it more a retro cruiser kind of a look i like the front cowl which is nicely integrated to the headlight unit which is a halogen unit the turn indicators are the flex type units which is also good borrowed from the elder brother which is the avenger 220 so this is a side profile the rear suspension is just the adjustable one which is five step adjustable and also the front is a telescopic unit the side stand is chrome plated and the rear one you also have a center stand which is blacked out so on the fuel tank you have the additional set of uh, telltale signs over here you have the uh, side stand indicator the fuel indicator which is an analog unit which is also good it also has the abs and also the fi indicator The switchgear quality is also reminiscent of Bajaj, which is backlit and also has all the telltale signs like engine kill, the uh, pilot headlamp, the engine start-stop, which is electric, and also the high beam flasher, which is also nice. I hope you enjoy this walk around shoot. If you do, so please like and subscribe to my channel. This is Kevin signing off, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.